Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie, we're in my sewing room and I have made a fun project that's gonna go in my travel trailer. It matches my theme fabric and it's gonna hold my makeup. Well, it's holding my makeup right now. So I glamped up my trailer and I just made it super fun and what I love about it is this theme fabric. And one of the things that's cool is whenever the theme fabric has another item made, in this color it kind of just disappears i think of it as camouflage i said that in my tote bag video so if you haven't seen that i made a really cool tote bag to match my trailer and when it's sitting on the bench the trailer just looks less cluttered because it's almost invisible and the same goes for my cute little makeup bag oh my gosh the wheels are turning there's no end to the things i can make to go in my trailer <laughs> It's pretty fun. You know, in a small space like that, it gets really cluttered really fast. And having all these different colored bags and such, it really just looks cluttered. And this is so much nicer. So I was actually looking for this makeup bag. I found a really easy, quick um, tutorial by, I want to call it to you correctly, Be Artist. And I'll put a link to it. Um, you can probably click on it up above. Oh my gosh, my chair's taking me away. So, I've already used this in my tra travel trailer and it is just perfect. The thing I wanted to match was my makeup bag at home. Oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> my chair won't be still. This is so dirty, I don't even want you to look at it, but it's just a makeup bag I got at Walmart or whatever and all my makeup is in there and I'm so used to it that I wanted to kind of duplicate it. And I would say the only thing this bag doesn't do that this bag does do is it opens all the way. And this one only opens halfway and I'll show you in a moment um, the other thing is this one is much more structured so this one is not a problem it's just it's just can get a little slouchy and I don't mind it because it's so stinking cute so when I saw it I wanted to make it and I did and I'm gonna take you along with me oh my gosh I did a few things wrong uh, because I almost always do and they weren't on purpose wrong. I was just making more work for myself. So for example, when I made my handle, I made it finished and it ended up going inside this seam. So I didn't need to finish it. So when you see me doing that, don't do that. Um, and that was true for a couple of the um, inside linings. But what I did do that she did not do is I finished my zipper on the inside and I showed you how I did that because hers had the raw edges showing on the zipper on the inside and I just didn't like it so two things do you want to see what it looks like on the inside and do you want to see what's inside <laughs> I have videos on how I do my makeup and I think I'm going to try and put a link in the description box it's been a while but I haven't really changed how I do my makeup I just do it simple and easy and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you what's in here because I like seeing what's in everybody's bags so here you go, what's in here? I always have a cloth, because I like to lay stuff on my cloth, and this is just a washcloth from my um, trailer towels, are all this color. And then I always have a headband to keep my hair out of the way, almost always have that, and a mirror of some sort. This is kind of bigger than what I'm used to, but this is what's, what's in there. And then makeup wise, uh, we'll start with brushes. Well actually no, I'll go, I'll go one thing at a time as I do it. I'm a Bare Minerals girl and I do the Fairly Light and I have a Kabuki brush to put that on with. And then after that I do the Warmth which is just to make you kind of more sun-kissed and I have a brush for that. And then after that I do some blush and this is also Bare Minerals. It's a nude and honestly I just got this and it's kind of a little bit too light. I like my blush to show but it's okay. I'm wearing it now so there it is. No I'm not. This was in the trailer. Hey, nude is good for camping. You don't want a makeup-y look anyways. So after I do my blush, and then my, my basic face is done, and I'm ready to do eyes. And for eyes, I always do an eyeliner. This is Chella, and I just love their pencils. I have a brown in here, and I have a purple in my home makeup bag that's right there. So I love these, and if you look at my video on how I put on makeup, I usually do it this way. And I don't do it this way as much because this way is kind of, I have lots of wrinkles and that seems to work for it. After my liner, I do my shadow. This is, um, it's Lancome. 
I just went in there to try and find a palette that had all the neutrals that I like. And I also like these little um, spongy applicators, but I also have a brush for blending. So eyeshadow. Once the eyeshadow is all done, then it's time for translucent powder, which is also bare minerals, and I have a brush for that. This is just an amazing product. And then I do my mascara and eye, um, eye brow. And for mascara, I use Pure, but I'm testing the Bare Minerals because she gave it to me for free and I actually really like it. So um, that's just in here. And then for brows, I have a little brush. You need any kind of little brush. And I do the Lancome Brow Shaping Powdery Pencil. I just like the way it is. It used to have a blonde and this is a little darker. It's a taupe, a, d a dark blonde it says. I don't like it as much, but I need eyebrows. So that's it. It's empty. And isn't it cute on the inside? It's just so, so cute. So cute. Honestly, the thing that's the dirtiest is the brushes. And I'm thinking of making a little like pencil case or something to put in there. Is that overkill? <laughs> a little pouch to put the brushes in so it stays nice and neat? I don't know. It's just fun, you guys. It's fun. Okay, let's get this all back in here. So it's all back in there. Now let's sew this. Let's watch me sewing this. Okay, the video is set to have a strap that is 12 by one and a half inches, but it's showing a finished strap. So I have a piece that's 12 inches by four inches. Now I folded it in half and I've sewn down one side. I'm about to turn it and then I'll show you my finished um, handle. So I use this handy little gadget. I use it all the time when I want to turn things. It has a large, medium, small for turning. And so I've turned it. There's my seam. I kind of finger pressed it. And then I think what I'm going to do is decide if I want to maybe do a couple of rows of stitching just to kind of hold it down. Okay, so my handle is made. And um, it might be a tiny bit short because... I went ahead, yeah, see it comes to 11. I went ahead and turned under my ends. So I think what I'm gonna do is is in my little notes, I'm gonna add an extra inch to my length so that I can finish. Because one of the things I noticed in hers is there was a lot of unfinished inside by the zipper. And so I wanna make sure that if this isn't gonna show, that it's finished. So I went ahead and turned it under. That might not be necessary, so I think I'll wait and see. But for now, that's what I did. All right, here's all my pieces. I've got my handle, 12 by, um, shoot, 12 by one and a half, but mine ended up being 11 by one and a half, but it's supposed to be 12 by one and a half. And these are all 22 by 15. I've got my main that's going on the outside. I've got a stabilizer that I'm gonna put in. It's just some kind of stabilizer I had on hand. So anything that you like the thickness of would do. And then this is gonna be my inside 12, uh, sorry, 22 by 15 on all of these pieces. Now I couldn't tell um, how she prepped her fabric. She seemed to have all her layers already done, but I'm just gonna do these two layers and see if I can enclose my zipper. I'll show you what I mean in a moment, but right now I'm just going to do, I'm going to iron this on because it's an iron on stable, stable, stabilizer right here. Now I decided to do the double zipper so that um, it opens, you know, from both sides. And I'm going to have that because I had a collection of those that I got on, I think Amazon. Anyways, I have these colors are in the collection that I have. To choose from i like the yellow because i have the inside is yellow but i also like the orange because there's a lot of orange in here and when else can i get this used up it's kind of like i know i'll use yellow more often than orange but there's a lot of orange in this fabric so it might be kind of fun So I'm going to kind of just look at the video and see how much of that zipper shows, but it's going to be either the orange or the yellow. Just to be clear, she used zipper tape and she did use two pulls, so I'll pretty much be doing the same thing. I decided on orange because there's actually a lot of orange in my trailer and this is going in my trailer, so I am going with 
orange. Super happy with how this turned out. And now I want to do the other side. And I've never used zipper tape, so I don't really know how all that works. So I'm just going to kind of close my zipper and see what, what it would look like if it was on the other end. That was easy. I just sandwiched the other side of the zipper into the other main end lining. And so there's the lining and there's the main. And when I open it, it's going to show to the lining. So we'll sew that on there. So now I have to figure out how I'm going to do my top stitching like I did on the other one. I think I just need to turn it. All right, that's what I'll do now. It's not zipper tape. It's just a zipper that I'm going to cut the sides off of. So I just opened it all the way. And now I can do my top stitching here. And then I'll close my zipper and I'll cut off my excess. Okay, I'm back on track with my instructional video and following her instructions. So my, I trimmed off my excess zipper. Now I'm going to turn it inside out and follow along with her. I left a nice big opening because I noticed and when I watched it, she turned through that zipper, turned the bag right side out. So make sure your zipper's open. Maybe not this much, but at least open. So now I'm going to need two strips um, to cover up this seam. And she doesn't really say how long or how wide, so I'm just going to guess at that. Um, this is 11, pretty much. So I'm going to make my strips 12 and turn in a half an inch on each end. And then for the width, I'm going to do 2 inches. And... I'm going to turn in under just a tiny bit on each side. So I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. She didn't turn in anything. It's just on there. It's just raw edges. So I've got my strips placed. What she has us do in the video is right sides together, match up that seam, and, um, and then just basically turn it around so that it's just a little binding right here. So I've got both sides ready to go. I'm going to sew up this side, and then I'm going to turn it under to the other side and I'll show you that. So now I sewed it to that side and it's time to turn it around and sew it to this side. And I wanna turn mine under just a little right there, just like she did. I trimmed this seam and I think it's gonna be easier. And so I'm gonna trim this seam just a little bit too. And then when I turn it, I'll fold these in first. Okay, the next step is to cut out a corner on each of the four corners, which is funny because I went to the trouble to finish this corner nicely. And <laughs> now I'm just cutting it out. So don't go to that extra effort. Think ahead. In the spirit of making things harder than I should, I had turned these ends under to make them finished, but they're gonna get finished when they're enveloped into this seam. So that would have been bulky. I undid it and I didn't need to do that extra step. So. Cautionary tail. Okay, I've got all my little trims right sides together and I made them a little longer than I wanted so I can turn them in when I roll them around to the other side. So this is how I folded mine under is I folded this over first like that. Can't do it and hold the phone. And then I folded this pretty much like that. And then my insides will be nice and neat on the corners. And she didn't show folding the corners in, so I cut my pieces a little bit longer so that I could do that, so that I could fold that in. See how it's a little longer than it needs to be? Just my thought. I found my tripod. I just wanted to share with you that moment, you know, the fun one where you turn it all right side out and see what you have. So these are my covered seams that she showed how to do. And I think they just really look nice and neat. And inside here is supposed to be my bag. So I open this up for the rest of the way. And let's see what we get.
Oh my goodness, this is so cute. This is gonna be so cute in my trailer. I love it. Oh my gosh, that was really easy. That was so easy. This is really cute. Now if I open it. Now the lid does not come all the way open. Kind of wish it did. Like I kind of wish it came all the way to here. I would say that's the only thing that I don't love about it. Because sometimes I like to sit and have my lid all the way open when I'm doing my makeup. So... <clears throat> Maybe I'll look to see how that can happen. But this is so cute. Just look at that. Oh my gosh. I just think it's adorable. So it was really easy. The only thing that I did um, was make more work for myself when I shouldn't have. I should have followed her instructions. And I will tell you that. Follow her instructions. If you want to do the one deviation of closing up your zipper, then you can follow mine. But after that, follow hers because she made it easier than I did. I made it harder. The only other thing I did different was when I did this particular um, little lining strip, I did fold mine under. I, she might have folded hers under too. I just couldn't see um, all of that detail. She has a bag in that same channel that opens all the way and I'm kind of tempted to give it a try. So, anywho. So there it is. It's done. And I've already used it. It's so, so cute. I have to say, I chose the, the orange zipper to kind of just use it up and it ended up being like one of my favorite parts of this bag. That zipper is amazing. So I'll put a link to my zipper source. I got that link when I made my So Spire tote bag. She gave the link for where she got the, the double zipper and I just bought from there. And I bought a kind of a just a um, variety pack. I didn't choose my colors. I didn't want to choose my colors. Just send me a bunch and I'll have them in my stash. And then I have the challenge of using those colors. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I, I do have other ideas for sewing for my trailer. And, you know, I'd like to make other bags. I just purchased this Juki from Bag Making and it's just a dream for the thicker fabrics, especially vinyl. And so I do want to make more bags. So if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Join my little YouTube channel community. We love to visit in the, um, in the comments and read the comments. There's so many fun people that are posting in there. So thank you so much for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you soon. I am here most every Friday, just telling about life in general and a little bit of what the projects I'm working on. So if you want to come back and say hello, I'll be here every Friday. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed my little makeup bag and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye.